Okay, uh, hi, my name is Yohan from Evo Prep. I'm a senior in high school, and today I'll be talking about Pansori. So culture encompasses religion, food, what we wear, how we wear, uh, language, marriage, uh, and music. And it's related all, uh, and it's different all over the world. So today I'll be introducing to you a Korean culture called Pansori. Pansori is a musical genre uh, played by a singer and a drummer. The singers of the Pansori are called Sorikun, and famous Sorikun are called Byeongchang. Byeong, which means famous, and Chang, which means a singer. This widespread tradition is com comprised of the both folk and elite culture, and is distinguished by its expressive singing, stylized speech, and the repertoire of stories and gestures. So, uh, Pansori is uh, really a part of the culture for Koreans, so I'll explain more in depth. The word Pansori comes from the words Pan, which means a place where many people gather, and Sori, which means sound. Pansori dates back to the Joseon Dynasty in the 17th century, and is thought to have been derived, evolved from shamanistic tale songs. Up until the late 19th century, uh, Pansori was a tradition among the commoners, but by then it had developed a more sophisticated uh, literary content and become uh, popular among the nobles as well. So every Pansori story's background is based and created on the Joseon dynasty. The singers of the Pansori had to go through extensive and demanding training to learn how to use their voices and to uh, memorize the long stories. The training was called tukum, and an old method of training was staying under a waterfall and singing until they were able to sing louder than the waterfall. There are some stories that they, a lot of singers uh, cough the blood while practicing, but due to the intensive training they underwent, uh, they were able to capture the audience's attention with only their voice. So famous pansori singers uh, are well known for the unique ways in which they have interpretive approaches and how they play out particular episodes. So, Pansori singer, uh, so while as Korea went industrialization, Pansori was uh, depicted as the Korean national intangible cultural property in 1964. Although, and this sparked a generous interest in Pansori and led Pansori to a resurgence. This Pansori is uh, right now considered one of the most popular traditional theatrical arts. However, it has lost most of its originality. Pansori, um, this is because Pansori couldn't keep its place as the most popular musical arts and as chances to perform gradually disappeared, the Pansori singers were lost as well. However, uh, Pansori still sticks to its traditional past and uh, didn't, didn't change. So overall, I hope you have uh, at least learned something about Pansori and hope uh, you take some more interest in traditional theatrical arts. Thank you for listening.